Hello everybody and welcome to this week's video from Delhi Sustainable Farms. This week we are featuring catching and sorting off some calves to get rid of to send to the sale barn. Um, with the weather that we've been having, there hasn't been enough moisture to grow enough grass to sustain all the animals that we currently have on the farm. So we're having to sell 25 of the younger calves um, at the regular market in order to make make it through the rest of the fall without starting to feed hay. Um, it's always tough when it comes to this type of um, decision because it's hard to pick which animals you will want in the future um, to use as grass-fed beef versus the ones that you want to use as replacement heifers versus the ones that um, are going to be sold then. Um, so here in this video we're going to show you the process of catching uh, the group of calves in the lot. Uh, Libby is featured in the video a few different times and then sorting the animals once we're in uh, the catch pen uh, and then weighing the ones that we will end up selling. Um, so stay tuned for all of these scenes. So as you can see, we use our Border Collie Libby to help us kind of get the cattle to go where they're supposed to go. She's still pretty young and in the training process, so she's still taking commands, um, but she's doing very well with them. Uh, it's a continuation um, of learning. As you can see here, she was just commanded to lay down, and so she dropped immediately, which is what she's supposed to do. And then she was told to get up and move forward again. We'll have a separate video showing exactly how we work with Libby and how we use the cattle with her. Um, but every time we catch the cattle, we usually use her to kind of help us get them moving. And now you can see we're moving the cattle down an alleyway that we built with our temporary wire. And you can see Libby is still kind of pushing them in the back to make sure they get where they're supposed to go. So they're about to make the turn up into the barn lot and you'll get a better video of that process. Now you can see the cattle have gone up into the alleyway and Libby still follows them up there. She's supposed to go up right into the middle of the gate and lay down, but she's still working on that process. And so now you'll see her jump up onto her little platform on the four-wheeler. So now that we have the cattle caught in the pen, we're going to be sorting off half of them. Some of them will be replacement heifers that get left back out into the field. Some will be smaller calves that aren't necessarily going to make much money for us at the market and we'll continue to let them get bigger on the farm. Um, so now you can see that we're starting to sort the cattle. Um, we do use sorting sticks just to kind of help redirect the cattle. Um, we don't use them for any purposes of hitting or beating on the cattle. Um, mostly it's just kind of redirection so we don't have to be as close to them, um, which helps us and them stay safe. Um, there'll be video coming up in the future here that shows um, the dangers of being the sorting the cattle so having the sticks and kind of redirecting the cattle with them is a lot safer for both us and them. It kind of looks like I'm sword fighting um, and that's to make sure that you kind of stay in front of the cattle. There's a, could be a whole video on the process of sorting um, 
here's an up close video of it, and you can see um, my shadow get... as I'm. I'll try to get like it I'm too. sword fighting. Um, but it's just kind of redirecting the cattle using their vision, visual fields um, and cattle psychology to get them where we want them to go. Now, you can't let everything out. You can see that I have a piece of paper. It has a list of the replacement heifers that we think will be good um, cows for the herd. So I'm looking at their ear tags to see which numbers they are, and we're only letting those out. Um, there's a lot of communication that has to happen between the sorter and the person on the gate to make sure you let the correct animals out. Um, my father and I have been working together at this for 20 years, so we work pretty well together. Uh, we do have some tension that builds up when sorting cattle, but I think that's just the nature of it, being a, a stressful environment. But we work well together and are able to efficiently and as minimal stress as possible on the animals um, get them to where they're supposed to be. So this shows the dangers of working with larger animals. Um, you just have to be cognizant that their legs can reach pretty far. I think um, so. So this is why we use sticks as well, just to make sure that we don't have to be too close to them. Focus on black white face. Get ourselves injured. So you can hear me call out, focus on the black white face. Um, that way the person at the gate knows what I'm working on um, and to make sure the animal that gets let out goes correctly. So here's a time-lapse video of what has just um, happened. You can see it's a lot of going in circles. So you have to take a small group down toward the gate, sort off who you want, and then they will eventually circle back up with the herd that's in this upper corner. This is just the nature of cattle and animals kind of in general. They like to stay as a herd usually. They don't like to be separate. So once they go into a smaller group, they like to get right back with the larger group. Here's a video um, on the gate kind of showing how the cattle run out as well. Come talk to him. Get out, cat. So at this point in the sorting, we had let most of the animals out that we wanted to, and there's only a few left. So at some point, there usually gets to be too many animals that you want to keep in the pen. So we are simply um, sorting off the ones that we know we're going to keep and sell 
and putting them in a smaller pen so we have fewer animals to work with. Uh, it makes it easier that way so you're not having to sort off several at a time. So this group can go kind of stand and not have to be bothered with down here in the lower part of the catch pen. You can see now that my father and I have switched roles and he's become the sorter and I am the gate man. This is usually how it works. I'm the one who's usually running the gate. Uh, he is a little more experienced at sorting the cattle um, and he's usually able to get exactly the ones that he wants out um, and it makes it a little bit easier. But I get to do some of the sorting occasionally as well. Now we have moved into weighing the calves that we're going to sell at the market. We like to keep records of their weaning weight, so as soon as they're um, weaned off of their mothers, and then get a weight when they leave the farm. That way we can kind of know which cows produce bigger calves um, and have calves that consistently grow better out in the field. We use this then to select and call different cows and the ones that produce smaller calves we'll end up usually getting rid of eventually. Um, that way we can have more consistent herd of young calves to sell at the markets. So we'll take this information that we're getting and put it into our computer and see how much weight they had gained since they had been weaned um, and other information like that. So the red catch at the very end of the alleyway is our scale. It is a digital scale um, and gives us pretty accurate weights. The contraption that is right behind that red thing is our squeeze chute, which is what we use then if we need to um, hold the cattle still for any type of um, procedure, um, such as vaccination or anything like that. Um, we also have another little pin back behind that squeeze chute that you could see Jeremy um, close the gate on, and that has a different contraption and to kind of hold them a little more securely instead of being able to stand in the alleyway. The cow that's about to come into the scale um, is the one that you saw kick at me earlier in the video. She is a little bit crazy and she actually had the base of the scale skid off and it actually cut the wire um, to the monitor so we weren't unable to get accurate weights on the rest of the cattle. Um, it's another reason why she was also being sold. We don't like to keep animals that um, are temperamental and cause us problems as well. So that was this week's video showing us sorting off some calves in order to sell. We'll end up holding them here for about a week or so until the timing's right to get them to the market. It's kind of hard decisions that you have to make on the farm, getting rid of your animals, but it's choices that we have to make in order to keep growing um, butchered or processed animals in the future. Um, so if you like our video, be sure to subscribe below. Um, if you have any questions, be able to comment those as well. Um, otherwise, we'll see you in next week's video. Everyone have a good week.